subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Uh, could you elaborate, I think, for the audience, and I'm, I'm sure policymakers also will like to hear this, what is already being done and what it needs to be done to make sure that India becomes the preferred place uh, for uh, you know, setting up not only just having the body, but also the head in India? Because many times startups have the head in Singapore and bodies in India. How, how do you know, we do RK, it and what are the challenges? RK, I would suggest a five-point program. I hope Amitabh Kant and everybody in Delhi are listening. Uh, Delhi is not habitable because of bad air. So let's be clear. Because I read reports that if you live in Delhi, you lose nine years of your life. And I'm sure everybody wants to live long and they're all going to Goa, coming to Bangalore, hopefully. I've seen my friends from Delhi come to Bangalore. Five things. First, we need to have a high-tech vision for Bangalore. We have to invest in the top of the pyramid. Now, Kiran is doing a lot of R&D. There are a lot of R&D happening in our university, but we need a fund for R&D. We need to identify 10 areas of high technology like artificial intelligence, biotechnology, space research in, uh, let us say, quantum computing and in the metaverse, etc. 10 areas. And, uh, you know, I've been uh, asking uh, Nivruti and Kiran to write a paper on that. What should be that? Create a policy and create a kitty of 500,000 crores from the state government to invest in research and to fund startups in those areas. So we create a high-tech, very high-tech area which grows over a period of time and pulls up the whole system to become the innovation center of the world. It's not expensive. It can be done. And possibly we can have uh, Chris Gopal Kishnan, who has put big money into investment to lead this from the vision group uh, with Kiran also, so that it can work. Because And Prashant, you know, these three people are extraordinary people. The second thing we need to do very, very clearly is we have to set up new places near the airport so that we get new investment coming in in an area which is very conducive to high quality living to make a global city. Now, let me explain. We need to attract global talent, Kiran. So let us say we invite, uh, you know, uh, PNC Menon from Dubai who has created Shoba Heartland, which is very wonderful. If you go there, you know, is in paradise to create a city with uh, space for companies and space for people to stay with schools and everything else in 500 acres and call two or three other people so that near the airport, we can create something new in two years that globally people can start coming. They don't have to go to the city. That is something for the uh, new thing. The third thing what we have to do very well is we have to do the kind of things to decongest Bangalore. Take up the metro to 250 kilometers is on the, on the track, but they have to fund it properly. Create those 10, 11 high-speed corridors to make sure that traffic moves and do it ruthlessly in a short period of time for the quality of life for every Bangalorean gets a dramatic improvement and make the core of Bangalore a walking city. So the quality of life uh, goes up. Then the fourth thing what we have to do is the government has to actively pursue global firms who are in the high-tech area to come here. See, we are not at success. We had Invest Karnataka, which we are all a part. It didn't work because sabotage from within. We need a minister full-time to work with somebody like Invest Karnataka to target high-tech firms, to ask them to come here. For example, today, 75,000 crore PLI is being approved by the cabinet for semiconductor chip design. Now, can you get a fab to Bangalore? It'll be difficult. We don't have water, maybe. But can we get more designers? We are the design center of the world, 250,000 uh, software chip testers and designers in Bangalore. So what can we do in terms of chip packaging and all the other things that can be done? I think we need to work on that and make it happen. What can we do to make Bangalore the EV capital of India? We wrote the EV policy four years ago. Nothing has happened. We need urgency in that thing. And the next thing which is very important, which Kiran keeps talking about, is the higher quality of life. How can we create more museums for our children? A technology museum, a space museum, natural museum, natural history museum. How can we uh, how can we create, you know, cultural activities in the city so that more people understand the, how to make it a global city? Then how can we make sure that we create the involvement of uh, citizens of Bangalore in the growth of city by reforming the city and creating a new architecture for governance so that more and more people uh, get involved? And how do we also make sure that, you know, we are able to become truly global in as much as we get maybe 500,000 people from all over the world coming and staying here and interacting with everybody in an atmosphere. How do you change the tax laws to make sure more Indian capital flows into venture? 
Uh, you mentioned about exits. You know, look at the IPOs that have happened. But 12, 13 IPOs have happened. It's done well, except when there's war pricing. Another 12, 13 are coming. So we cracked the IPO problem. I mean, it's always there, but people didn't venture for whatever reason. Now we got to crack the tax problem. Very small amendment. We'll make sure that Indians invest more. We've been able to do this five-point program, out of which 80, 90% is within the state government's purview. And maybe 10, 15% is something that uh, our finance minister, who's the MP from Karnataka, incidentally, uh, you must know that, will be able to do in parliament and then invite Prime Minister Modi to release that high-tech vision and to promise us that he's going to put the might of the central government behind this high-tech vision because it can only happen in Bangalore. And if Bangalore does that, it'll pull up the whole country because it can't happen anywhere else. It has to happen in Bangalore in the shortest period of time. Everything is here. If we're able to do this five-point program the next two or three years, 2025 will be very different, RK. But it has to be done by focus. Maybe get RK to start to program manage this with authority.